go over a coin called Flow. And uh, it's one of these coins that's uh, blown around the radar with me. I remember when it came out I um, on Kraken. Kraken is a backer, really big backer behind it, I think. And by the way, Kraken is really big uh, behind uh, the infancy of Ethereum. Probably one of the reasons why Kraken's doing so well. So they got Ethereum before it became, um, you know, public more or less, I think. So here's the deal with uh, with Flow. It kind of flew on the radar. So for me, I wasn't paying attention to it. But I have invest answers on here on the uh, the screen, as you guys can see. And I think one of the biggest features of uh, the biggest uh, benefits about watching him is he's got all kinds of data he comes up with, which is great. I like it. But his best data is the amount of users that are on the chain. That is his best data right there. He talks about where are the users hanging out, okay? And the reason I say that, and that's exactly what probably one of the biggest, uh, in my opinion, one of the biggest things you want to look at for fundamentals. I agree with him 100% on that because the future of blockchain is software. It's software, guys. And it's going to be where all the people, where are they hanging out? And where are they hanging out right now? Well, he told you in this video, they're hanging out on Solana. They're hanging out on, uh, I think, uh, Phantom, um, Matic. And another one he picked up was uh, Flow. Flow has had a massive amount of users, made me aware of that. I did not know that. Flowing on the radar, kind of like Cosmos, for example. But uh, I decided to go check out the chart with Flow. So that's how I see the uh, future of uh, cryptocurrencies with the blockchain as far as the uh, software side of it. Where are the users going to be hanging out? That's the future that I see. And that's where I uh, also am thinking with Bitcoin. Bitcoin's advantage is it's low inflation. And it was first out of the gates as far as a cryptocurrency, as I see with Bitcoin. Um, that's it. Low, low, not low inflation, but uh, limited supply. I mean, excuse me, limited supply with Bitcoin. A lot of big players are, are in it. The uh, decentralized side of it uh, with Bitcoin has its advantages there. But then you have the other part with blockchain. I'm looking at with the software side where users are going to be hanging out. And I like to use the approach. He used the uh, example of a shopping mall. It's the exact same thing. The path of Google's uh, going down, guys. That Google went down. What did Google always say? Where Where do the users like to hang out? They're always like, where do they like to hang out? That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. Google is what? Software, basically. And then you compare the blockchain. That's where I see that this is going to probably be going, in my opinion. Okay, so... That's with flow. I was going over flow and it actually looks pretty darn good here, guys. There's a, a limited supply out there. Um, it's number 32. It's got quite a few followers on Twitter. You guys can go ahead and research that. Uh, the fundamentals on this side of it do, do not look too, too bad from what I've seen. Um, this is going to be more of the chart. This is Kraken's chart. And uh, let you guys know, if you go over to Corn Trader Pro, it leaves that wick out. So over here on Kraken, which is not a surprise that it has it, that flow, it has all the data with Kraken because I think they're a backer of it. I'm pretty sure Kraken was. So, And the nice thing about flow is it did a swing here and almost tagged that 0.786, which is really good signal for a, uh, a good retrace. Okay. Could it come back down to 886? It could. It could. And then just looking at the uh, rest of the uh, retraces for uh, flow from uh, wick to wick is uh, what we have. It tagged 1.618 on a three wave swing, which is a really good signal, too, guys. OK, um, you see here's its uh, connector wave. So it did an ABC right there. So check that little piece of data. And uh, see, and you can see right there, you have about a one-to-one. -one. So you got an ABC, a per nice one-to-one, -one, and a nice three-wave swing right here, probably WXY up on this wave, and a nice deep correction. So the overall signals for flow look good. They look good. Now we're going to go into this piece of data right here. And I'm going to zoom on into a daily chart at first and check it out. So I've been trying to break that down, guys. It's really, really difficult. It kind of reminds me of, I don't know, maybe a chain link or Cardano or something like that. Could you get an impulsive move out of that? You could. 
Um, there's definitely an impulse move here. This section of it is, uh, there's impulse moves in there. Could get it out of that. And check the retrace on that leg though. This whole thing. If I go all the way to the top, it has retraced to 618. Could it have more downside? It, it could. And uh, my guess is there should be more downside. Unless somehow up here, there's a uh, it did a flat because this is a five wave swing down to here, and it could be going up for a three and maybe make another swing down. So you want to be aware of that. So more than likely, target areas I think would be more reasonable for flow would be like a dollar forty three right there at the dollar uh, sixty dollar forty three. But your line in the sand for flow is obviously right there, guys. At that dollar fifteen, is it going to come back down and retest those lows? Don't think so. This right here is the whole connector area. And even though this is lower than over here, you can see in the RSI, it zoomed it up quite a bit. So a couple of ways you can go with that. Definitely think it ended there. This could have been the uh, swing up and then a truncated fifth, or this whole thing is a connector. Um, I think the whole thing based on the RSI data is a connector. And then this is the uh, zoom down onto the uh, impulse move. And if that's the case, then this is getting too big for this leg. So it's more than likely onto something new. Take a look at the, uh, go back, zoom back out to the weekly. It came down pretty decent in the RSI right there um, for, for flow. And let me go back out to the daily. I wouldn't expect anything uh, super, super phenomenal with this coin. It could, it could start zooming out of here pretty good, but uh, all-time highs up there, about 44 bucks. I mean, if there's a, a bullishness behind um, the cryptocurrency market, so say, for example, Bitcoin and Ethereum going into a bullish move, could you see moves up to uh, that area, 28? Yeah, you could, and then beyond those areas. So you could be looking at a potential uh, move up for a 20x if you just got it right here up to there, potentially, guys. So... Not any guarantees, not any guarantees. So let me go out to a uh, eight hour chart and let you guys check this out. Um, what's this sussing itself out? I do have a little bit of suspicion that there is going to be a little bit more downside to Bitcoin. So more than likely this right here could be going up. Here's a five wave and then maybe a three wave swing. So there could be a move over here like this you wanna be aware of. So one, two, three, up for a B, and then back down for a C or something like that, guys. With target areas over here is what I would do. I'm not even going to go up Fibonacci because more likely, if that is a diagonal, if that is a diagonal, this is going to be your line in the sand right there, that dollar seventeen. okay? So I just let it play out, and it's actually in a really good area. Just start checking it out. And uh, the potential upside, I think, is pretty darn good for a coin like this, just because the amount of users and people hanging out on over on this chain, okay? So um, even if you just had a, a corrective bounce off of this leg of 50%, corrective bounce of 50% is back up to uh, 7 bucks if it just happens to swing back up into those areas. So you'd be looking at, you know, a 2 or 3x in that scenario, say a, a bearish scenario, um, is it going to do a three wave swing? So if you're bearish, just to give you guys an example, you know, this is what you'd be looking at. Here's your three wave swing. That's a nice, uh, that's a nice swing down. That's what you want to look at. Pretty familiar, isn't it? You know, down, up, boom, just like so. And it'll do a three wave swing up there. Just as an example, this is your bearish scenario. Three wave swing back up there. And then it's going to come back down on a y, y leg. The Y leg is going to take as much time as that W wave over there. Doesn't mean it's going to go down be equal in size. Um, as a matter of fact, for those who are do Elliott waves, the W, the Y wave of the W wave going down is typically, I found about 0 0.618 to 786. They mostly like to hit 0.618. So normally that Y leg is a little bit shorter, but that's a bearish scenario. Right now, I don't, uh, I don't see that playing out. Um, I see the bullishness uh, going in. I see bullish signals coming into the uh, markets um, by, say, you know, next, uh, let's say, 30, 60, you know, 90 days in that area or something like that, guys, if it hasn't already started and it's just warming up to get out of there. So 
It actually looks pretty decent, guys. Um, this is one that I'm going to be paying attention to a little bit closer. I just started looking at it today. I want to see more of its moves, what it's going to be doing out of here. This does look like an ABC, but it could be a one, two, and it could be getting out of there. Um, I investigated this up top. That's, um, you know, this this five wave ended here. And, um, you know, saying that this could be a flat is really, really, um, you know, you see the areas, you know, the numbers that went way beyond 0.618. So you kind of have to rule that out in that area. So um, more likely is uh, what I would be looking for on this coin is up on an A, down for this B, and then maybe zooming up here onto a C to swing back down on an overall A, B, and then maybe a C. Come back down to these areas, guys. So, and what kind of swing that this was. Um, not going to know for sure until what it plays out over here. And then wherever it finds its bottom in this section over here is... You know, if it belongs, it doesn't break below, we'll give you clues of what went on over here. Very difficult to suss that out. You can go four or five different ways with it. I'm not getting into this coin yet. I want to see wave moves and see what it's going to do. So typically, my way of doing things is uh, I, I have a relationship with the coin, if you will, you know, because after a while you see the moves and then you, see, you know, you, you get so used to it, and then you're like, okay, then you can, almost can say this is what probably is coming next with the coin. So all the coins have their little uh, quirks and twerks about them and like to do different moves in different ways usually, even though they're all the same, but like do them in different spots, if you will. So things look pretty good. Like I said, reason I checked it out is because he, he had brought it up in his video, and, uh, you know, I mean, I'm sure most of you guys watch him. He, he does really good fundamental analysis on coins. And that's the other reason why I'm bullish on Solana is the reason why he's bullish on Solana. Not only because of the awesome wave count that it has, is because everybody's hanging out over there um, doing deals on Solana. I mean, you can't deny that. That's the reason compared to other chains that the most everybody's over on that chain. So it's undeniable based on the users. All right, guys, that's the end of my video on Flow. If you did make it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button, peace.